What's up, guys? It's Raul today. Um, Jose is in Mexico partying, so he's not here to film. So I apologize. I didn't actually document a lot of the teardown. So we'll show you a picture of what this truck looked like before. But you'll get in kind of an idea of what I did. I mean, it's pretty basic things. Like I just gutted the whole interior. Trying to sell some of this stuff off on Marketplace, but... Then I realized I hate using Marketplace. Anyway, so the engine, this is where I was at this morning. What I did was I disconnected all the engine parts that connect to the cabin or go through the cabin or anything, wiring, lines, anything. And then all the, the lines or anything that go from the cabin to the frame. So what I'm gonna do is I am just gonna lift this cab right off the frame and then roll this frame out because I'm not gonna use it. So a couple things I found while taking this apart, obviously there's a little bit of damage, not too crazy there. Um, the only thing I was really bummed about was this headlight piece. So I'll probably have to buy new headlights. So the back, um, I just removed the bed uh, again, pretty basic. You just unbolt it, unplug everything, and I used, I what I did was I just strapped it to my car, my car lift, and I just lifted it up, rolled the truck out. Easy. Put it on wheels. I put everything on wheels. So that's the bed. So that's where I'm at, guys. So now, uh, I'm not sure if I want to tackle this today, maybe a different day. I'm going to lift this cab off the frame and then the, the frame will be rollable still and hopefully somebody just... So here we are, I apologize. I didn't film us taking this cab off the frame. It was very last minute. Uh, I had family over for Thanksgiving dinner. We decided to come in the shop and since I needed an extra help, extra hand getting the the cab off the frame we decided to do that for you know some after drinking activities on thanksgiving dinner so here it is this is the cab now on a rolling table it makes it easier to move around we have the frame fully with everything engine suspension just waiting for a buyer to um, pick this up so I could roll it right out of the shop and they could just take it. So I don't need any of this. I won't be needing any of this, hopefully. So now the next step here is I need to gut this interior. As you can see, I started. Most of it's gutted, but I need to like gut it bare, bare, bare and then completely strip everything out of the engine bay, all the little plastics and everything. All right, here we go. If you guys were wondering how I did that so fast, I used to do this for about 12 years, car electronics. Um, so taking door panels off is like nothing to me now. Still got it. So, all right, so next thing here on the door, um, I kind of traced out about where I want to cut. I'm going to leave a little bit extra because I might utilize these holes for something depending on which route I go. But I could always cut out, but I can't add material. So I'm going to cut it a little bit further out and then I'm going to cut up along this line should support it a little bit what I realized from this Tacoma it's actually flimsier than a Civic in most areas which is pretty crazy to me never would have thought all right so here we go
So it looks like the time lapse on this GoPro, I'm not too familiar with it, but I reviewed it and it looks like it was going way too fast, like not enough pictures per minute or second or whatever you call it. I'm not a video guy. Um, so anyway, I thought I would capture it a little bit slower. So I'll tell you what I did. Um, first, I cut out the outside, obviously. The important part when doing this, um, whether it's this Tacoma or a Civic, because I've done quite a few of these. So when you cut the bar out, um, your bar here your, that protects you from crash, first you cut it about right here because your, your grinder and most tools aren't going to reach all the way over here. And then you cut it until you can reach, which was right about over here. The thing is, this is glued to the skin. Now the skin is very thin and um, and fragile. Of course, you guys know. Uh, this is actually, I think, thinner than the Civics. Like I said, I was really surprised. So what I do is after it's cut, I take a heat gun and I heat those up and I take um, one of these putties and then I just go under it really gently until it separated and then you keep doing it until it pops off on all of them. You don't want to pry on it because then you're going to mess up the skin of the door. So as you can see, we got it pretty good. This is just dirt. And then these little things were already here before, right there. But besides that, yeah, no damage to the door skin and that's the most important part. Um, like I said, this is actually flimsier than a Civic. And so when I drew a marker, there was actually planning behind it. I guess I forgot to mention that. I kind of cut where there's thicker layers, like right here, there's a dual layer. So I didn't just draw a marker everywhere. I actually planned it out and also to what I want to do. So I forgot to explain that. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to do one more door. I cleaned it up a little bit. Um, I'm not going to do a final, final touch up just because I don't know that this is going to be the final form of this door. So until then, I will leave it as is. And then once it's final, um, what I like to do is just, you know, sand this down so it's not so freaking sharp. Um, this is just sanded down to like 100 grit. But I like to, you know, get it down. Um, pretty smooth, as smooth as possible. As smooth as a metal edge can be, I guess. Not that I'll be grabbing it, but just in case. That's pretty much it. And then uh, just got to tackle that next door over there. And I don't know if you guys saw, I used a couple different tools. So obviously a grinder with a cutoff wheel, flap disc to clean it, a uh, cheapo heat gun. This air one right here, this air with a cutoff gets in a little bit tighter areas. Um, I normally don't like using air tools, but this one will get in and I have smaller blades too, just in case I really need to get in there. And then of course this scraper. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I put my face shield on because there were some areas in here where it was getting a little bit sketch. So always protect yourself. So a quick little uh, trick here. Um, if you want to make these cuts perfectly uniform, uh, I kind of know exactly where I was cutting because I kind of went off some little body lines and some different holes and whatnot. But if you want to trace it, take the, the piece you cut off from your other door and just mirror it on here and you can clamp it and then outline it and then kind of where you were going on the other one, you'll kind of know between this and your idea is a little bit easier to draw the second time. And then once you're done, see I have all my marks here coming across. So that's a little bit easier to mock up. I've got this thing over here. All right, so the second door is cut now. So all the doors are prepped and ready. Um, besides, like I said, the final touches. 
So the next thing is gonna be to cut up the cab. That will be another episode. So I hope this kind of helped you guys um, just to know exactly even where to start if you don't know as far as cut, cutting doors up if you're going full track gangster. Um, like I said, just take your time and be careful with the skin. You don't want to damage that, uh, especially like when you're cutting really close to it. Or like I said, don't pry the bar out. Just heat it up and get the thing under it and it, it just comes right off. Some, sometimes these um, actually are already kind of melted off or not even stuck on there. So it just depends. But that pretty much wraps up today's episode. And hopefully the next one we'll get some more footage on the cab. And this is what we were left with over here. Some trash, door bars, and some inner doors. So as you can see over here, um, sometimes you gotta cut a couple times on the bar just to get to the full outside over here. Um, unless you have a lot smaller tools than I do. I'm not really sure, I have a, quite a bit, but to me that's the fastest and easiest way. I've done these doors, or not these exact doors, but I've cut up uh, quite a few doors, mainly Civics, but they're all pretty much about the same. Um, I just did this in about, I would say that took me about an hour and a half or so, like full door panel, everything. Um, it's pretty easy. I would say Civics probably take a little bit longer. Well, that's it, you guys. Um, hope you guys liked the video. Hope you guys are enjoying this progress. I'll try and film more as much as I can. Please subscribe so we can keep this channel going. Thank you.